eight fucking years. Eight years! I know, but for the concept, the wife is always sometimes like, oh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna get a hole, it's gonna be a fucking movie star, right? Cause of that, right? And they can come back here and they can shit on me, and shit on me, and shit on me, okay? That's it, I got it. I'm jumping off a fucking bridge. And in this fucking movie, we're gonna see it, cause he, the director, is gonna film it. You understand? I'm gonna get me a fucking bridge, and they're gonna fucking film it, okay? This is my life. It always will be. There's nothing else. Just us. And the cameras. And those wonderful people out there in the dark. Me, look at me, look at me. I got the spotlight. Here I am, here I am, here I am. Here I am. Spotlight. Uh, I do think, uh, I do think it's about something. I'm not too sure what. Hello, Valerie here with Fast and Furious 7 News. Now, as you all know, the film was only halfway complete when filming stopped due to Paul Walker's tragic death last November. The script needed to be rewritten to phase out Walker's character and his co-stars needed to be given time to grieve. Well, now writer Chris Morgan and director James Wan have come up with a way to tastefully enact his departure, and work on Fast and Furious 7 will restart on April 7. This time around, the plot sees Ian Shaw, Jason Statham, on a revenge mission against Dominic Toretto's crew, who killed his brother in the previous film. So what do you think? Can the franchise survive without Paul Walker? And how do you think they should handle his departure from the movie? Let us know in the comments below and I, I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.